Okay, everybody. So again, welcome. Um, so I'm Ali Hanyalolo, as I mentioned. I am on the Acrobat product team. I am the worldwide product evangelist, and I'm also a community leader with acrobatusers.com. So we hold DZ seminars on a monthly basis if this is the first time you are joining us, and it gives us an opportunity to be able to share with you a lot of really good information about using Acrobat from many of the community experts that we have. Um, so we really do appreciate you joining us today. So with that, I'd like to introduce our speaker. And it is my absolute pleasure to uh, welcome David Mankin as our distinguished speaker for uh, this month's e-seminar. Um, David, and th those of you who have not come across uh, some of his work before, is an Adobe certified instructor. Um, and he's been using and teaching Acrobat since version 3. And uh, he has a blog, which is great. And uh, I recommend uh, following him on his blog online at, 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 called Acrobatics. I provided the link there, so you can click on that, and that should open up a new web browser if you want to check it out right now. And uh, I do recommend uh, subscribing that and checking out the information that David provides to everybody. Um, when he's not in front of his computer, um, figuring out really cool tricks and tips and techniques for using Acrobat, uh, David is actually a classically trained musician. Um, so uh, he and he's based in the Washington D.C. area. So I know we've got a lot of people here from the D.C., Maryland, Virginia area. So your neighbors are here, David. So with that, I am going to go ahead and hand things over uh, to David. And David, if you can go ahead and kick things off and start sharing your screen, please. You bet. <clears throat> and there we are. Welcome, everybody. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to be presenting uh, on the capabilities of Acrobat 9 to uh, scan paper documents directly into Acrobat itself, uh, and then the OCR, optical character recognition uh, capabilities built into Acrobat. Some very exciting, some very cool stuff. Uh, my office and my home, frankly, is covered with media devices that are, that are filled to the brim with documents. I've been using a computer for a long time, as most of us have, uh, and I don't throw anything away. Documents that I wrote in 1992, I've got on disks somewhere. Um, if I need to find something that I prepared uh, a while ago, I, I generally have a pretty good idea uh, where to find uh, those documents. I've got flash drives. I've got hard disks. I've got CDs and DVDs and uh, even uh, zip drives here and there. Um, I even have documents stored online on Acrobat.com. But the one place uh, that, is an adult, that presents an analog problem for me is the giant filing cabinet in uh, my office. All right, it's a, it's a huge five-drawer, 600-pound monstrosity. It's from the, probably the 1940s. It's been in my family for years, and it is filled with paper documents. Um, if I needed to email one of these documents to you, I need to somehow digitize that or get that into my computer somehow to then attach as an email. Okay, um, I have attached to my computer a very basic, quite frankly, not very expensive flatbed scanner that I'm going to be using today. Um, the, uh, the flatbed scanner itself is basically an optical device, and it's going to turn uh, a physical piece of paper, it's going to interpret it into pixels and then give me an image. But why end up with just an image when I can actually get an, uh, an image-based PDF file? From within Acrobat itself, the first task button here is Create. And if I click on Create, you'll see the second option is From Scanner. Okay. So if I go to Create PDF from Scanner, there are a couple of uh, presets here, black and white document, grayscale, color document, and even color image for a document that might necessarily not contain text. Um, I'm going to actually start off here using this one called Custom Scan. All right. Now, if I jump to Custom Scan, I get some basic options here. I get to choose the scanner that I'm going to use. If I have more than one, I can select it here. Uh, which sides of the document? Is it going to be uh, just the fronts, or do I have the opportunity to either duplex or manually turn over the page to scan the second side as well? What color 
mode is it going to be? There they are again, black and white, grayscale, or color. The scanning resolution, and even uh, you get a chance to uh, designate the paper size. All right. Um, output options here, I want to create a brand new PDF document. But I'm going to do something here a little bit, um, uh, a little bit pure, if you will. I'm going to, I'm going to scan a, um, I'm going to scan a document that was typed in 1952 on a typewriter, um, and I'm going to turn off all filtering. So what you're going to see is really a very pure...